In a neighborhood of bricks, my project is about growth. Too often change is feared, but directing it can be powerful. Static buildings can be designed to accommodate growth. Steady, yet uncontained. Brick and Balloon is a concert venue, a bakery, and a living space for young professionals that fosters dynamic, sustainable growth. Everything began with a contradiction. The population of the near south side has boomed in recent years, yet their streetscape is dying, scattered with empty lots and abandoned buildings. The reason behind this clash had to do with who these new residents were. They were young professionals, attracted by their proximity to the loop. They spent their 20s enjoying the nightlife that had grown around them, but they left before they had any real attachment to the neighborhood. To solve this problem, the solution has to begin with the young professionals. They are my user type A. A concert venue appeals to their nightlife craving. This is paired with a bakery that fuels the morning and matches the nightlife with daylife. These communal programs have the ability to bring the residents together through baked goods and inspiration. As they become more rooted in the community, they will grow into my user type B, professionals in their 30s who can truly be considered locals. This focus on growth led me to the concept of ballooning spaces. A certain amount of space is necessary for any given program. As the space gets busier, it needs to grow or balloon to accommodate everyone. Different spaces need this ability to different extents. In a bakery, for example, seating space needs to balloon more than other spaces. This concept brings time into the picture. Different programs have different peak hours, so ballooning spaces can overlap strategically. The bakery can balloon to a space in the morning and allow the concert venue to balloon into that space at night. Finding these opportunities for overlap define a new adaptive architectural typology. My site sits on Michigan Avenue, sandwiched between two three-story buildings and surrounded in the old bricks of Motor Row. The building consists of two parts, the brick and the balloon. The brick fits into the lot at the height of the neighboring buildings and houses the communal programs. My residential floors are floated above my base. This allows for views, ventilation, and natural light for the units. The duality of this form lets it fit into the existing and also introduce a new language of growth. In this section, we can see how ballooning spaces are organized in the structure. The bakery is on the busy street, and the concert venue is on the alley side. Between them is a grand staircase with seating that can function as bakery seating or a concert spillover space. Above, there are residential ballooning spaces. Now in plan, the concert venue sits below ground. This dynamic space can be set up for multiple types of functions. The bakery sits at ground level, with a counter that can double as a ticket counter at night. The back entrance has storage space and a mail room for the residents. The second floor is bakery seating on the street side, and rooms to serve the concert venue on the alley side. A transition layer separates public and private, with a sky lobby and a gym for the residents. There are five floors of residential, with six units each. The units are one bedroom and studio sizes. Small units aren't great for hosting large groups, so each floor has a ballooning space. The ballooning space serves as a communal lounge to bring people out of their rooms. A staircase winds its way up the residential floors, connecting the ballooning spaces. This staircase comes to end on the roof level. Most of the roof is covered by a green roof, but the east side has an interior and exterior space for residents. All of these floors follow a grid that allows for a heavy timber structural system. Back in section, the building integrates multiple sustainable systems. The connection of ballooning spaces lends itself to air circulation. In the summer, air can be pulled in from windows and filtered its way to exit through the skylight in the roof. Sun is allowed to seep deep into the building through these windows and warm the building in the winter. Finally, in elevation, lower levels match the surroundings with brick. The upper floors are cladded with a lighter wood. The wood cladding is traded for glass curtain wall in the ballooning spaces. A wall section shows the unit windows in more detail. The size of the windows is based on the internal program of the residential units. With the ability to adapt as the day passes, the building falls into a steady rhythm on a daily repeat. An upper level ballooning space could start the day as a spot for morning yoga. Someone enjoys their coffee looking at the view, and people meet up to head to the loop together. As the day passes, people may filter into the space to use it for work meetings or an escape from their rooms. Some meet up in the afternoon to hang out. Dinner becomes a communal activity. Finally, someone might host a movie night and have some friends over in the evening. Meanwhile, on the lower level, the morning begins with batches of baked goods. The early risers eat them fresh out of the oven. People head to work and some stay and work here. A lunch crowd comes through. Then the tables get packed away. Through the afternoon, everything gets set up for the night's concert. 
A line forms out the front door. The doors open and the concert's on. Music fills the neighborhood and memories are made. At the night's end, a cleanup crew comes through to reset the place for the following morning. The cycle of this building is not a static one. Through each pulse, the inhabitants of the near south side grow into something new. The ballooning spaces ensure that space is not a limiting factor in this growth. The bakery, the concert hall, and the residential units adapt from the quietest days to the busiest days of the year. This may unlock a new possibility for growth in the near south side. As the neighborhood continues to grow in size, its residents will grow in experience. Before long, the near south side's temporary residents will be rooted locals.